Hey guys, how are you? It's Julie Salon. How are you? Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a bit. I've been busy. I hope you've all been doing really well. I just wanted to say hi. Thank you for being here. I am your unicorn in charge <laughs> and I am here to help you. I am a healer. I'm a light worker. I'm a seer and I'm an animal communicator and I help people find their gifts, figure out how to use their gifts and most importantly, get them in alignment, right? So that they can use their gifts and really do what they came here to do on planet earth. Because so many of us have struggled for so long with what do I do? I'm here, but I don't know what to do with myself, right? So today I've been working with clients um, quite a bit lately and I wanted to give you some information. This video is going to go deep. And we're going to talk about fear and we're going to talk about what's stopping you from being who you are now as 11s if you're new to the channel let me restart thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing i really appreciate each and every one of you thank you for your comments if you hear anything breathing heavy it's the dog in the background i'm house sitting for um Thank you for your comments. I respond to each one and I so appreciate each and every one of you. We created a community here and I'm thrilled. I couldn't be happier with the response that I'm getting. And most of you are saying that this is really helping you along. So thank you for that. I do work with people individually. If you want the information, it's all in the description box below. And on this channel, we go with numerology, right? I love astrology too, but numerology is different. This is for the Master Life Path 11s, right? who I am as well. And we've been around for a while. We've been reincarnated quite a few times. We have generally the 11, 22, 33s are the master numbers. And that means that we have um, a lot of times larger missions to do on earth, right? They're not small. And it, listen, let me just say this up front. It doesn't matter what number you are. There's not one number that's better than another. Just because you're a master doesn't mean you're better than a two or a three or a five. It doesn't matter. It's not that way. As I always say, there's people that are ahead of us on our journey and people that are behind us. It's not a competition. It's not about judging, right? It's just, this is where we are. This is who we are. But 11s and the master numbers, but specifically the 11s are built differently. We are the people that have been very misunderstood most of our entire lives <laughs> from the time we were little. We were the, were the people that, Others just don't understand us. And the reason why is because we process such deep levels. I always like to think of it as like levels on like an elevator, right? Somebody else will process something and see something and hear something. Let's put it this way. You're both in an elevator and you both see or hear something. And it's like, hmm, that was weird, right? You as an 11 will feel it like one to 22 floors down, right? Just right? Your body feels it, your brain feels it, your heart feels it, like your energy feels it, your aura feels it, your soul feels it, like we process a lot. Somebody in next to you that saw the same exact thing, it's top of the mind and then it's gone. They don't feel the way we feel, they don't see the way we see, they don't process the way we process. It's not that we're better, it's just that we're deeper. That's actually a real thing, it's not and that causes a lot of issues for us, right? Because as I've always said, when I was a kid, right? I'll put myself out there on blast. Because when I was a kid, a lot of times I'd be watching TV and I'd see things and I'd be upset by it. And my parents would be like, what's wrong with you? Because everyone else in the room is fine. Like what's going on with my child? And I had a great, I had great parents. They loved me to death, but they didn't really understand what to do with me, right? Because, and I didn't know what to do with me. And the hardest part of this whole journey is that you and I, unless you find somebody to help you, you don't understand what's actually happening to you. You don't understand your gifts. You don't know what they are. They can come towards you or you've had them. And then if they're not normal gifts, like let's just say writing or speaking or piano playing or um, good with finances or drawing, right? If they're not something like that, if there's something different, like I'm an animal communicator, I can speak to animals. I've been doing this since I was a little girl, right? And for past lifetimes. And animals speak to me just like we're talking right now in full sentences with pictures. That can be a little harder because people don't understand that. Even in this year, 2021, there are still people that laugh at me and think I'm stupid and don't get it. And that's okay. But 
I'm just illustrating that to show you that you don't, people don't recognize your gifts and then what they don't know, they get scared of. And then what they get scared of, they run away from, and they want you to shut down because they get nervous. So as a child and going into a teenage years, you are very much, you probably have experienced from your family or from others or society or just going to school, people that didn't accept you. They didn't get you. They didn't understand you. And then you, you, some people push through that, which is awesome. And then the rest of us shut down and we go, oh, no, hell no, I'm not feeling that again. I don't want to feel that again. That's painful. It's rejection. You're rejecting me as a human. But all I was doing was being myself. It's just like, if you laugh at a joke, but if I sit there and think about it and I'm different, that's wrong. That's not the required right, right response, right? Then everybody else kind of goes, what's going on with her over there? And I'm like, mm, I don't know, you know, like just being me. So. I say all this to say one thing, you are not cursed. Please do not ask for a normal life because you'll never have one. You are gifted. And I wanted to, I wrote something down that I wanted to go over with you. And it says, until you understand just who you are and how powerful you are and that you are truly limitless in your capabilities, your life and goals will remain small. You have to start seeing yourself as not cursed, but special. Gifted, intelligent, you have everything you need to succeed. You're a manifester, you can visualize. A lot of you are star seeds, light workers, empaths. You may not know what all that means, but you all have special gifts and abilities that can help the world and yourself. And that's what you're here to do, right? So working with some of my clients, of course, I wouldn't mention any specific names, but a lot of what they're talking about, I want to kind of go over today because these are similar. I hear the same story so often, right? This is why I'm here to help you. I shine a light to show you this is the path. Come this way. Instead of fumbling around the dark over here, go this way, right? One of my clients had said, you know, she had walked into a room and she had sensed, you know, anger from somebody and she got upset. Right. So you're walking into a room and it's quiet or people are lightly talking. And then she sensed some anger about somebody. It wasn't even directed towards her, but because she's so empathic, she felt it. And then what happens? She reacts and she kind of gets weird. And then everybody looks at her and then she thinks it's her fault. And the whole energy of the room changes simply because she walked in and she felt something from someone else. Right. Because nine out of 10 people walk into the room and don't feel a thing. Right. Um, you know, to know that all of what you see here and feel is not yours, but that there are not good people in the world is upsetting. And a lot of us don't realize until you have the right tools in place that you shouldn't take on anyone else's burdens or anyone else's crap or anyone else's feelings, right? So if you walk into that room and you sense anger and jealousy and stuff like that, resentment, that's, you can feel that, but it's not your job to take it on and you shouldn't take it on because you're only meant to take on your own stuff. And until somebody teaches you how to let that go, right? You will hang on to it. And then what happens is you just become stuck with so much energy that's not positive. It's gotta come out and then it can just be directed at somebody that can be really painful um, for you and them. Um, this is not at all like a mindset change that I'm talking about. Mindset comes later. This is a change in recognizing your gifts and recognizing and understanding who you are and then owning them and using them. That's what it's about. Um, somebody had written in and said that, you know, he has spent, a, a, or she has spent a lot of their life just battling the dark side. And I can completely understand that. And the dark side being our shadow side, which is how we feel, right? Lonely, depressed, angry, frustrated because people don't understand us. And it sucks because we are kind of like the lie detectors, but we don't come at people on purpose that way. It's just the way we're built. But what they don't know is that we're coming in with love and we don't want to hurt them. We're trying to help them. Sometimes we get messages for them, or if it feels like, oh my gosh, you know, this person's really angry and upset, maybe I can go help them. And I don't even know why, but I'll say, you know, I maybe you're just going through something, but you know. I'd love to help you if I can. I'm a healer. If not, that's cool. But 
if you frame it the right way and that takes practice and somebody to show you how to do it or just you know watch a few videos and figure it out if somebody's teaching about it and that's great right but for us 11s most of the time 98 percent of the time we are definitely misunderstood and after living life like this for a while it can become very hurtful so you need to move through this so how do we how do we deal with this as 11s how do we say holy crap okay I'm getting so much energy because I'm getting a lot of energy from um, people's ancestors here being thrown at me. They're saying like, talk about this, talk about that. Um, a lot of you are experiencing this. And this is why I wanted to talk about it. You don't feel as though you fit in. You feel angry. You feel upset. You feel as though you're never going to be normal and you won't be. But what's different is instead of looking at yourself as cursed, no good, and you don't know how to work with this, find someone who can help you work with this and understand that you are special and you are gifted. And the switch from thinking that you're cursed and that you're always battling the dark side and that you're never going to find your way out of it is very disempowering to the switch over here, which is I'm freaking strong. I know I have gifts. I know I can use them because I do. And it's to help myself and others a totally empowering feeling and you start to actually like yourself and like your life and start to love yourself and love your life versus hating your life because no one understands me and so here's the switch here's the most important thing that you should know about this whole journey you need to know that you're okay the way you are you're perfect as you are and that you can't worry about anyone else if they don't get you, they don't get you. They never will get you. There are people in this world that will not connect with me. But for everyone that doesn't, there's three or four that do, right? As 11s, we're very sensitive beings. We feel things differently. We process differently. We're always wanting to help others that are underdogs because we've always been that person. We've always been the person that people laughed at or didn't understand us because we're different. But what I'm trying to explain to you is that you're perfect the way you are and you're special as you are and that God or spirit didn't give you these gifts for no reason at all. So it's your job on planet earth to get into a place of alignment and empowerment so that you can start using your gifts for yourself and for others and for the planet because there's a lot of help this planet needs right now and that's why so many of you are being activated and called up that's what's happening a lot of you are having your gifts turned on full blast or you're starting to see things and go that's different i never saw that before or it's really prominent and i can't get rid of it like the numbers seeing numbers all the time like angel numbers seeing totem animals like say mine's a hawk, I'd see the hawk all the time, looking up all the time. And I just want you to know that you can go from being disempowered to empowered. And it's important that you do so. It's super important. You're only here one time on this ride, then you get the next ride, right? Because we have many lifetimes. But your ancestors are reminding me to tell you that you've been doing this for lifetimes. You've been doing this a long time. What they're doing right now is prompting you to wake up. And remember who you are. You're special, you're gifted, you're talented. And the goal is that you can have all of this stuff circling around you. People that don't understand you, a job that doesn't get you. You could have a spouse or a brother or a sister or a cousin. They don't understand you either. They might make fun of you, whatever the case. And you've got to sit there and be okay with who you are. And say, you know what? It's okay that you don't understand me because I'm still going to move forward right? So it's truly about moving from fear to faith and taking all that shit that people said about you and not believing in you and going, that's okay. It's cool. I'm just going to keep going because you are too important to the collective to not move forward. We need every single one of you out there that has talent, every single one of you, because you all have special gifts. And when we all combine our gifts and work together, that's when the planet's going to ramp up. And that's we, what we do is we bring light to the planet. Some of you work with animals like myself. Some of you work with plants. Some of you work with just the ground itself, right? Everyone's different. 
Some of you work as shamans. I mean, and some of you are working a nine to five and you push your gifts away. Everyone's at a different spot. And if you're that person, I want you to know, and I'd like to encourage you because I did it for so long professionally. I was pushing my gifts aside because I was scared. I was scared I actually hurt somebody because it was powerful and I didn't know what I was doing. It's not going to be the case. Your gifts are yours and only you can use them, but you still have free will. So if you want to say, nope, I'm not ready, that's cool too. Your gifts won't go away. They're your birthright, but you will probably not have the exact life that you should have had on planet earth because you didn't embrace your gifts, right? Because it's hard to push them aside because they're intricate to you and they help everyone else as well. So moving from fear to faith is what it's about. And how do we do that? You're going to do the most counterintuitive thing if you haven't done it yet. And that's going to be, you are going to start trusting yourself, start listening to yourself, start listening to your intuition. And nine times out of 10, your intuition, well, 10 out of 10, your intuition is always correct. But nine out of 10, your intuition can be counterintuitive. So it's just like going in for that interview that I talked about and everything's great on, you know, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is an amazing place. I'm going to be making a lot of money here. It's going to be great, right? And then that small, still voice says, you're not going to be happy here for long because you know you get bored easy. And you're like, no, 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 it's going to be awesome. I can push through this. I can do it. You shouldn't have to push through anything is the point. You shouldn't have to force yourself to do anything. You should actually just be happy. So I'd rather make, I got to the point where it's like, I'd rather use my gifts and make less than have a job that I hate and stressful and is killing me because I'm not using my gifts and make more. Because every day that you don't use your gifts, it's hard for you because your gifts are so easy, right? You just need to understand what they are and start working with them and understand and practice with them. That's the key. So it's all about moving into faith. I was born with these gifts. I know I can use them. And if I can't figure it out, I'll find someone who can teach me. I was born this way and I'm gifted and I'm talented. I'm not cursed. I'm amazing. And if people don't understand me, then they're not the right people in my life. And I have to make some choices, right? And you mean, I'm not suggesting that you move away from anybody if they don't understand you. I'm just saying that you might want to keep things under your hat because if you keep sharing things with others and they keep pushing you down, that's not good. And then it makes you shut down. And that's not what you want. You know, bringing in your shadow self, that's a game changer. That's 50% of your energy right there. And everyone should do that. But a lot of people don't because they're so afraid like I was and put her in a box, right? For, for a long time. But yet that, that's the person that will help you the most, that will take the hits for you. That's the, that's the person you need on your side when you need help, right? So choose faith over fear, start grounding yourself, right? Whether it's being in nature, whether it's meditating, whether it's putting on music, whether it's visualization, whatever it is, right? Um, if you need someone to help you, let me know. I can help you. I help a lot of people do this, but it's all about you getting centered, finding out what your gifts are, and then moving through that and saying, okay, I am here to do X, or I know at least what my gift, one of my, or two of my gifts are, let's go from there. Because you could help so many with your gifts. I pulled like six cards for you today. Um, the first one I got, and I'm, I'm not a card reader. This is like, I just use Oracle cards because they help both of us. You got uh, moon healing, you got cold moon, yin yang energy, shadow work, and unconscious beliefs. Like what did I just talk about? And I just pull these. I don't look at them until the end. It's exactly what I'm just talking about right here. Your ancestors are telling me that so many of you don't want to do the work, but you want the spoils. This is important. For you to have the spoils, meaning the life that you want, whatever that looks like for you, whether you want to live in the forest, whether you want to have a castle in Spain, whatever it is, and in between. For you to accept your gifts, use your gifts, help the world, help yourself, you need to do the work. 
And if you don't do the work and that the work, meaning understanding yourself, trust yourself, learn how, what your gifts are, right? And start changing some of these unconscious beliefs that you have. If you don't do that, nothing will change because I have tons of tools, right? But I, I can bring you to the water, but I can't make you drink it, right? So I can lead you to it, but if you aren't accepting or you're not ready, you're not ready. So you have to be able to do the work. But the yin yang energy is all about balance. And a lot of you are out of balance because you're not using your gifts, right? So you do feel lonely, depressed, angry, frustrated. You do walk around going, what the hell? Like, I'm a good person. I'm not here to help hurt anybody. I'm here to help people. And people, either like me or they just can't take me at all. They're just like, you're too much, you're too intense or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm on your side, right? But remember one thing, because we are the lie detectors, when people understand that we can see inside of them, and this is just a gift that we all have, they get nervous and they get really nervous if they're shady. Because anybody, even myself, I don't like to be looked inside, right? Because it's, it's kind of like unnerving. It's like we have a facade up front and we protect ourselves because inside we're sensitive. And if you're an empathic and you're a light worker, you're super sensitive and stuff that people say really hurts us deeply, like deeply, where other people just let it go. You know, we remember this stuff like five years later and we're like, oh man, I'm still getting over that one. And people are like, what are you talking about? I don't even remember what I said. And they're like, I do. I remember exactly what you said word for word and exactly where you were, where we were. And they'll be like, what are you talking about? That's how we process. That's how deep we go. Balance is super, super important. Grounding yourself, meditation is super important, but balance meaning every single time that you use your gifts, guys, you need to take time for yourself. Every hour you give out, you must give back to yourself which is why a lot of us are lonely because we are loners because, because of our gifts. If never, nobody's ever explained that to you, it's important that you know that. You need to understand that everything you give out takes time. It takes a lot out of us, right? It's like giving away part of us. It's just the way we operate. And so if you do that, you get depleted and you need to bring yourself back to center so that you can have more of you back. You have to regenerate basically, but it's all about balance and doing the work. You also got for the fixed stars, you got Minkar, Beak of the Raven. I love my ravens. Spiritual awakening, light work, preparing for spiritual ascension, right? So already these two go hand in hand, right? Because look at this, you've got yin yang energies, shadow work. If you do the shadow work, you get rid of some of these unconscious beliefs. You're automatically going to go into a spiritual awakening and preparing for spiritual ascension and light work. It actually says light work on it. And ravens, by the way, I have a raven as one of my totems who's been with me for lifetimes. I love ravens. People are afraid of them. They don't like them, but that's because they don't know them like any other animal. Like all your spirit animals are amazing. Even your snakes. I have a beautiful snake, right? So the ravens carry messages for us and they help us. And they're one of the only birds that's facial recognition. I think up to a hundred people they recognize. I wrote, I read somewhere. You also got for uh, astrology um, planets, you got Jupiter, growth, wisdom, intellect, whoa, spirituality, truth, and justice. Where are you not being truthful with yourself? Where are you telling yourself that you're stupid when you know you're not? Where are you telling yourself that I can't do it when you know you can, because you just don't want to do the work because you're either lazy, I'm just going to say it, or you're afraid. It could be both. I was more afraid <laughs> than lazy. I have a good work ethic. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Also, oh my, God, I love this one. Moon heal. You got the waxing crescent moon. Now is the time to manifest. Look at this black cat and this moon. Okay. These are the two most favorite things that I love on the planet Earth. Because I have a black cat who's a, my guardian and the moon, obviously. Now is the time to manifest. Now is the time to start your journey. If you've been going along, and you've been like, things aren't working out for me. I don't know how to move forward. It's time to get serious. The earth is in peril, if you haven't noticed. 
We just had, I don't know how many thousands of a gas bill the other day in Huntington Beach, California. There's so many bad things, wildfires, terrible things happening to planet Earth, to Mother Earth, right? Plus we got COVID, whatever. Plus we're in a six planets retrograde. I can't even handle it. It's like, oh. so I want to be a light for you guys. And I want you to know that I'm not different than you. If I can push through this, you can push through this. If I can push through and be a healer, so can you, right? Now is the time to start working on yourself and manifest. And what happens, you get that through growth. You get that through wisdom. You get that through truth and justice, being truthful with yourself. This is who I am. This is one of the biggest things that you guys need to understand is that you've got to have a like come to Jesus meeting, we say, with yourself and be like, listen, I have to stop pretending. I'm not like everybody else. I'm not. And I never will be. Why? Because you were born to stand out, not to blend in. You were born to be a leader. We as 11s, we lead the leaders. We teach the leaders. We are the leaders. We're out front all the time. Whether you know it or not, whether you like it or not, that's what you're here for. So embrace who you are. Love who you are. You're freaking cool. You're badass. You're not a lonely, depressed, shriveled up person. You can embrace who you are and be who you are. And you're freaking amazing. If I can do it, you can do it. Buck Moon. I always get this card, man. Look to the root cause. This is a beautiful card. I, I don't know what it is. I oh, we always get this card, but I love it. But this buck wants to come out and talk. So cool. But I just love the way. I mean, I love the moon. So it's got the moon in the antlers, right? And that's a big buck. Look to the root cause. What is stopping you from being your best? If you don't know how to use your gifts, what your gifts are, get in alignment, contact me. This is what I do. This is my superpower, right? Or contact another person that you feel it, that you jive with, right? If you're afraid, you need to, again, have that conversation with yourself. And I had that conversation. It was like, how long am I going to be afraid? I've been afraid a long time. And I don't want to be afraid anymore. I don't, I don't understand all my gifts, even you guys. Some have come through, some new ones come through. And I'm like, because we get cryptic messages from spirit, right? And the angels, we don't get it like, okay, Julie, you're going to do this, this, and this. And you're like, okay, it's not like that. You know that. We get messages like, go lead. And you're like, yay, where? What do I do? What do you want me to say? No, nothing. Just go lead. Right. Okay. Right? Have faith in yourself. You guys are strong as hell. But if you see yourself as just little and small and, oh, I can't do it. That is who you are. Literally. What you see, right? What you believe about yourself is true. But if you see yourself as strong, powerful, amazing, I have momentum, I'm in alignment, I use my gifts. Holy shit. New moon, time for new beginnings. I don't even make this stuff up, you guys. I shuffle these cards and out they come and I don't even look at them. Time for new beginnings. So let's look at it backwards because this is what I love to do because this is the way my brain works. Time for new beginnings. How are we going to get there? Look to the root cause. Be honest with yourself. If, if, if life hasn't been going the way you want it to, the tough love is, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I'm not embracing who I really am. Maybe I'm hiding myself like I did for so long. Stop doing that. The world needs you. And there'll be people that accept you and love you just for who you are. Now is the time to manifest. And by the way, black cats are awesome. Mine's been with me for a very long time. And he's been my guardian and protector for many, many years. Angels and protectors come in many forms, guys, not just humans. They can be in animals too, and they can be small, right? Back to your growth. How are you going to grow and change through wisdom and intellect, through spirituality, truth, justice? Be honest with yourself. Start embracing who you are and all aspects of yourself, right? Which will bring about a spiritual awakening, preparing you for spiritual ascension. Because if you are a light worker, if you are a star seed, if you are one of the 144,000, and you'll know if you are. And if you don't, we can find out together. 
You are needed, my friend. You are needed. You've got to be with us on the front lines. Well, you don't have to be, but we need you. Which will change everything. Release of your shadow work, your unconscious beliefs that hold you back and bring balance, yin yang balance and energy to your life. This is who you are. You are an amazing person who's truly gifted, whether you know it or not, who can do incredible things. Some of you out there can talk to animals like I can. Some of you out there can manipulate energy. Some of you out there can heal plants, right? Heal the earth heal other humans by touching them on the shoulder, right? Some of you have gifts that are amazing. All you have to do is believe it. So I know this was a bit of a, a rounded message today, but I, I wanted to start this off by giving more of a general message and kind of bringing it back because I'm going to be offering a lot more in terms of how I'm going to be breaking up the videos because I really want to start people working individually and then together with each other. But to do that, we have to know where you are. So I'm going to start off with a series of videos that are going to do kind of like a 101, right? For those of you that um, don't understand your gifts, don't know what your gifts are, um, how to work with them, that's what we're going to start with. So we're going to move through from the beginning to the middle to the more advanced stuff. Um, and I'm going to try and break it up as much as I can, but I hope this helps. And I love you guys. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, we're trying to grow the channel and definitely leave me comments and let me know if this was helpful. Okay, guys, thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon.